This question is about mechanics, and specifically, it's about statics and forces. Now, in this question, we're actually told that we have some sort of, um, what is it, a block, uh, which is really boring, but oh well, there we go, and it has a weight W, so that is something that goes straight down. Remember, that's how weight works, right? Straight down weight. So we can call that W. Now, it's hanging on these strings, and these strings are almost horizontal, which is actually really key. So what happens is this. If you look at this right here, uh, almost horizontal. That means that, you know, see this angle right here is very, very small. So is this, if it's uh, symmetric. I drew it poorly, but, you know, this here is a horizontal line. You see these here are very, very small angles here. Well, we could see that the tension in each rope, well, that would be T, like this. Uh, the tension would go sort of out that way, and it would go out that way. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually do all the math to work out what would happen. It's actually really complicated. I actually did it for fun, but it, was, it wasn't really that fun. Um, and you can figure out then that the tensions can actually be pretty big. But I think the key thing here, we're trying to actually find out like what, what is the correct about the tension. We're asked, you know, how does the tension in the strings relate to the weight of the box here, of this block. And what happens is this. This is what's a really important thing to know is that, um, well, we could say this, as the angle, um, I think we could say approaches, this is, I think, a good thing to know here, as the angle approaches zero degrees, so in other words, as this angle right here, theta, as that gets really, really small, um, we can actually say that uh, the tension, you know, this tension in the strings here, it can approach infinity, which is really weird, right? So that's because, um, you have to have, you know, this weight right here has to be taken, if you think about it, you've got this component going straight down, that has to equal the component of it straight up, right? But as this theta here gets smaller and smaller and smaller, you can have the tension actually being really, really large. So the key thing here then is just knowing this fact. Then you can say, well, no matter what, the tension's got to be bigger than the weight always. So that's actually why the answer can be, whoops, I probably shouldn't have done it like this. I should have said that's D. So that's the answer to this, okay? D, the tension is always bigger than the weight in this case. It's not gonna be any other choices that they had there. It's actually just tension bigger than the weight. Like I said, it can actually approach zero, uh, infinity, which sounds really weird, but that's actually how it works. This is actually why um, like a little bird or something like that, you know, sitting on a wire can actually make wires break. It's not because it's that heavy, it's because if the wire is already really, really tight and you put a little weight on it, it can actually break. Something like that happened actually in Canada, where I'm from. Um, this is in, when was that, 95, maybe 96, something like that, or maybe 97. I can't remember the exact year. But uh, there was an ice storm um, in Ottawa. And what happened is a whole bunch of rain fell on um, power lines and trees and things like that. But the rain was such that it was a, such a temperature that it came down and it was like really ice and really heavy. And what ended up happening is that weight actually busted a lot of the uh, power lines in this exact way. Because you had a weight here and it basically made the tension really high. A lot of these electrical power lines actually broke. So lots and lots of people, there's millions of people who are actually out of power for a long time in the middle of winter. So it can have a big effect. But basically, that's how you answer this question. T greater than W. That's it.